How's the weather, John? Well, the weather's looking great for sailing. If you're a bear and you got a boat, you can go out and do that. Uh, pretty nice uh, here in East Texas. As we take a look outside right now, you can see we've got a temperature at 74 degrees. Southwest winds 9 miles per hour. That relative humidity is at 48%. So pretty comfortable out there. Of course, we've had some recent rainfall. That's helped out our burn ban situation. Only three counties left with burn bans. Franklin there in the north and Sabine and St. Augustine down in deep east Texas. Low temperatures this morning were in the 50s, not as cool as they were Sunday morning, but still a little bit below the average for this time of the year. And temperatures right now, of course, have warmed up as we're rising through the 70s and it looks like we're going to be hitting the 80s this afternoon, going back a little bit above uh, normal. And I'm talking maybe two or three degrees, so not a whole lot, but it is going to feel more like spring than fall this afternoon. Forecast high temperatures for today, as you see, into the mid 80s and we'll see temperatures as high as 88 in Longview, 86 in Tyler and Nacogdoches, 87 degrees expected in the Lufkin vicinity. Then forecast low temperatures for Tuesday morning continue to creep up even a little bit more around 60 degrees. That's getting close to where we expect them to be this time of the year. Tuesday afternoon's high temperatures back into the mid 80s, so the warmth is going to stick with us through at least the first half of the week before we do see some more cool air headed southward. Got a good weekend coming up. Clouds are staying down into the south there, mainly south of the Interstate 10 running through Houston and San Antonio. Here in the northern sections of the state, we've got sunny skies. We do have a front poise to the north, but it's going to have a struggle trying to get down across the Red River. Future cast sees that uh, that front does pull down close to the Red River and then starts to move back to the north. This is Tuesday at noon. We will see some showers down in the southern portions of the state and then those clouds will start to move northward and we'll see some of those as we go into Wednesday. We'll also see the remnants of a tropical storm Lydia out in the Pacific. It'll be moving over northern Mexico, bringing some moisture northward, but we're actually not expecting a whole lot of rain here in East Texas as most of that moisture is going to be tracking off toward the east and miss us this time around. We do have a front with some cooler temperatures uh, settling into the state there Thursday afternoon and so we'll be watching for that as it approaches the area and brings us another fall weekend very much like the one we just came through and it was a nice one. Here's what we're expecting for today. High temperature around 86 degrees. Skies will be mostly sunny. South southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight we're going to have a nice evening. We'll have a low temperature around 63. We will see increasing cloudiness as we'll go partly cloudy this evening and then mostly cloudy during the overnight hours. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Tuesday's forecast mostly cloudy and warm. High temperature around 84 degrees. We'll have a southerly breeze at about 15 miles per hour. Over the next seven days we got the good weather through the middle part of the week. If we see some showers they'll be isolated on Wednesday. We'll have sunny skies though by the weekend. Great weather for viewing the eclipse. Solar eclipse happens about five minutes before noon. It'll peak here in the Tyler area. Not a total eclipse for us. You got to go down around uh, the San Antonio vicinity to see the total eclipse this time around. But we do have one that will be crossing East Texas coming up next year. So we'll be talking more about that. Meanwhile, deep East Texas you got a little better chance of rain for you Wednesday and on into Thursday. By the weekend, the weather looks good for you too. And you'll also see those cooler temperatures moving back in, James. All right, thank you very much, John Adams. Well, the North